we started from then. Um, it didn't work out in the beginning. I tried, it didn't. I think she was, she had somebody else. I had to be on standby for a while. You know, so she went back to Germany, where she lived most of her, most of her life. So when she came back was when, you know, the magic happened, and then the rest is history. But that has been that was my first crush in life. Mm. So as a kid, and the reason why I knew it was real because it was nothing physical. I just didn't know why I liked the person, and I was a kid, so I didn't understand it. But I liked it, and yeah, I'm, I attracted that. I wanted to have her. I imagined going with her, and that happened. That going back to what I attract, you know, from God, I just say this is what I want. This is what you want. I want to be. So it was know. direct. You actually told God that this is what I want. I don't pray like I'm praying to God, but I, I think about it, I imagine it, yeah. you know, and then directly that came. I imagine having a, a daughter as well. You imagine having a daughter? Yes, almost everything that's happening to me. Like you I'm, spoke it into exactly. your life and it came to yes. be. Yes. Do you think you will one day hold the Bible and begin to preach? I would say no to that, but um, it's possible. It's possible, it might happen. That can happen too. If you were to be one of them, would you be a preacher, a prophet, or a teacher? Um, which one goes a lot more with uh, motivating? That's a, that's a teacher, right? Preacher. That's a preacher. 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 Right? Yes. So you would love to be a preacher? Yes. Someday. And, and my church will be very, very positive. <laughs> How do you mean when you say your church? No, explain that. You know, because I think when you go to, like the song you're playing, the, the beach you're playing. Yeah, this one. That's yeah, one of my songs that I really like. Mm. And everything I believe in is when you listen to the, the rap, it's my state of mind. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, going to church, mm -hmm. you know, to me, if a pastor makes you feel like there is more to you, mm -hmm. um, I, I feel bad, you know, because it's relative, mm -hmm. right? Success, what is success? Success to you is having 16 houses and you know, running 75 businesses without sleep and trying to maintain thousands of workers and having panic attacks at night to you is that what success is to you? Mm -hmm. It is for somebody. Somebody also just wants to have a good family, have decent income, enjoy life, just be happy and be appreciative of what they have. You know, so when they make the, the, uh, the level of success, they have this image that they put out there yeah. that frustrates the congregation. Okay. You know, so when they say, you will be you will be okay you move from this situation what situation am i in like i've not i've not complained about it i know that it can be i will do well you know but i'm not in a bad situation if you go to the hospitals you get to understand uh, how grateful you should be you know as a person yes. you know some people need to just pee so they can be free and they can't do it you know and sometimes you are just water exactly just drink water so you can be okay they can't do it and you are at home and you have kids and you're saying because of your kids you are crying you get it. That's my that's my state. That's how I think. So if I'm going to preach, it has to be um, appreciating. So a lot more can happen, you know. Because I appreciate. That's why I keep going forward. Because mm -hmm. I appreciate what he's doing. So he's like, I'm about to blow your mind. If this this is what you think I've done enough. Check what I'm going to do in 2019. Mm -hmm. You know. So people can be stuck in the dark for a very long time just because they don't appreciate. And I think the pastors, the preachers, should do more. I know when you when you give this uh, state of mind, like you're going to be okay. Um, I don't know, it does something to the congregation, but it would be better to make them feel like they are actually okay. You know, it's fine. Like, be happy and open the doors. Because, my brother, I know you can relate. The more you have good energy, it yeah. attracts a lot of that positivity into your life. comes exactly. to you. Exactly. Yeah. So, I would want my congregation to never, ever question, you know, the man out there and, and be doubtful, mm. you know, because the situation is, is someone's dream, you know. So, try to really appreciate. This is beautiful. I would like to attend your church anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and this is from on Twitter, Sally uh, underscore Ann. And she says, uh, very lively. Bro, can we tell King Sack to keep the peace and fire burning? And there's a lady that sent Mimi Success. Yay. Says, your greatest fan. Yes, I know uh, Mimi. As you say hi to yes. you. Okay. And someone to tweeted this. Please help me ask Sack what in his homicide track. He said, you're selling your soul, but wait till you gain now. The devil want to drive me insane, but one day the sunshine will come over the rain. Uh, was it Shatawale he was referring to? <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, but I get that. The you, you get what he's trying to say? A new song um, talking about, you know, the devil, you know, trying to like 
because the business we're in is easy for you know that, that's a playground for him okay you know he he always tries certain yeah. things to make you be yeah, yeah. yeah he knows the gimmicks exactly. no he was a chief chorister yeah, exactly so he knows the game exactly so but then i was just challenging him that it's not going to work you know and even if there's a downtime there's going to be a brighter day a brighter day okay yeah. Uh, someone says, uh, please ask Zach that did he put just the statement of him having a call with the devil and he's trying to put him <coughs> on tele, but he needs his soul, so should tell him uh, anything he's ready, just uh, rap or he's telling us a real thing? It's, it's the same song that he's talking about. So it's the same song? Yeah, so the, the whole thing is, uh, you know, the devil will say, this is what I can give you, mm -hmm. you can have all these things. Uh -huh. like what I was he showed saying, Jesus when after 40 exactly. days of fasting, he said, I'll so give you all these all things these if you days. bow down to yeah, me. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, but then I'm saying no on the phone. But it's just figuratively. It's not like it happened. You know, I don't know the devil's name. Oh, not. okay. So <laughs> people think that you actually had a conversation <laughs> with the devil. <laughs> no. I'm just saying that, you know, it's thoughts. It keeps coming in mind. As I said, the story from the beginning, go here, meet this person. When you do this, you blow up. You know, and then I'll say no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Let let we yes. Uh, you can be yes. At the background, fla you were flashing lights and on the LEDs, we're seeing all sort of signs and everything. And when we got out, one of my my very good friends, I'll reserve his name, is like, you know, I told you one time that this guy is Illuminati. <laughs> so, so I asked him why. I said, you see the thing where come the LED talk. You see the. The pyramids crossing <laughs> left, right, center. Then Google show me some pictures of the same. Sakodi, are you playing with our minds? Really? Do you are you in bed with these people? No, no, it's far from that. You know, I used to do that when I was a fan. You know, you go on YouTube and they're talking about this person. They can even narrate it to a, a point that you actually believe it. You know, so I, if when you're doing it to me, it's not a problem. You know, I used to do that, so I'll not be a hypocrite when someone is doing it to me. You know, say thinking that you're you're Illuminati, and that's that's just funny. It only got to me when my family started believing in it. You know? Oh, because people can really get like the way they were, they would say. You know, they can have a story. Like I was even there. You know, Sakodi, I don't mean man. And then the crowd. Seriously. Sakodi, I mean, then the crowd. Guy, be or no, yeah, you no, no. Ring be a share some time. Be crowd, no crowd. Really be a share, you know. So, um. I, I would say my family believed it, but it got to them. You know, there was a point where I think one of my nieces, you know, she was in school, and the, the friends were acting weird because they think your uncle is Illuminati and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, so when those things come, that's when I took it serious and I did the song Illuminati. But I'm far from that. You know, if if I would have done that, I would have been way back. And if I'm doing it, that's what I said in, in the song. Anka, me here Illuminati. I say we're doing the cheap Illuminati. Illuminati does all go all out. You know, <laughs> if you're going, you have to go all out. Going all yes. out. But I, I'm far for that. I think it's, it's the perception that you have in your mind when you're watching me. So you're, you're being detailed about almost everything. So even if I do a hand sign that seems a certain way, you just relate you know, that to mm. something that has nothing to do with it. But okay. that is far for me. Okay. All right. So we have some few minutes for him to leave here. The community are so excited. It's been long. It's been a long time, Sakude, for you to bond with the with the gospel musicians yeah. uh, where Christ has taken you. Uh, they, they want to tag along. So you carry us all along and together Ghana becomes a, a home to come uh, and visit. So with your Yasapon, when is it coming out? Um, so actually you have put the information out. It wasn't out. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a good show to break the, the news. Um, shouts to my dad, uh, Mr. Yasapo. He came to the house. He brought this song that oh, so incredible, and I did my best. So it's really up to him. He's very particular about sound, you know. So he's trying to find the the best sound for it. You yeah. Know, I don't know. I think he's working on it, trying to get people to like master it. Uh -huh. So when he's done, then we're good to go. But it's a very good song, you know. Um, I, you know him. His 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 point of view mm. when it comes to gospel, mm. Mm. and I could relate so much. He's just talking about. Um, we humbling ourselves as humans since mm -hmm. we don't know tomorrow. Wow. Uh, the same people that you are trying to like act over, mm -hmm. they might be the one to pick up your cup. So you have to really find a way to, if you have that understanding, it really hum humbles you. Yeah. You know, actually, let me chip this in as uh, the scariest part is not knowing tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. That is why it should affect your daily activities, you know, how you treat people. Perception is different, but what you're really doing as a person, how you treat people around you, you know, how you see yourself, mm -hmm. you know, fame. Coming in, I will not lie. I was vulnerable. I was, I was young. When it comes in, sometimes you feel some things are normal. You know, when I go to the barber shop, I have to skip the line. When I come to the bank, the circle, I don't stay in. 
uh, in a cues. <laughs> those things comes with blessings. It's okay, but yeah. you know that is not real. That is not what it's supposed to be. Mm. So you don't you don't let that get to you. Okay. And you don't get lost in it because tomorrow, my body you know what's wrong now. To me, man, it's also case seeing it this year. Mm. We need any control. So you have to condition yourself for you know what is about to happen in the future, and that's the storyline to Mr. Yao Sapon's uh, song and the lyrics in it. I can't wait for you guys to listen to it. Wow. Yeah. For sure. Oh. Yes. And we know you play in this space also. Yeah. Give us your top three gospel songs. Wow. This is gospel. Hard. Local. What's if you don't, don't know the seven? names of the song, you can just mention the names of the artists. Yes, Who will be your first? If I put um, uh, on, a, on a top hierarchy, uh, one, two, artists. three. Yes, not, not the song. If you remember the songs, I'll be so excited. It means that you know you have a connection with the song. Do you have any of them in mind? Uh, you remember any line? Not not exactly the title, but the um, line. O O J O J. Wow. Yeah. He's a great guy. OJ, yes. Great composer. Exactly. O J. O J. And uh, Esther Smith. Esther Smith. Yes, I think I like almost everything that she's put out. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm. And it's a whole lot. Yeah. It's a whole lot. And the last time I heard you mention Joe Metal. Yes. Yes. But I'm very old school. Oh, you're very old school. So um You tilt towards the the olding Pastor Joe Beecher. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Deep. Good song. Mm. No. 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 DJ Bredash, prepare that song. We'll play before he leaves. Yes, that's a very nice song yes. and a very, very inspiring yes. song. So you, you tend to tell to these old people why? Um, I think it's you can feel the authenticity mm. you know, of the composition. You can see it comes from the heart. Mm. And they and these things you can't create it again. They, they don't even know. It's as artists, we have a time that God gives us the priceless songs. Yeah. And after some time, when you live too much, and then the fame comes in, yeah. it's how do you use the word? Um, um, if it dilutes, mm. you know, you as a person. Mm. So that first two, three years, four years, some some can have it to five years. You do your best music because those are times that you're not competing, you're not trying to beat charts, yeah. you're not trying to have the biggest song. You are just doing music that you feel from within. So normally underground artists can come up with the best song mm. and when they blow up sometimes it's very hard to keep up because now the attention is on you yes. so you are being too careful you're trying to like you are trying to make it hit mm. you know so these old songs are like priceless moments that the artists don't, don't even need to drop anything else mm. you know until they die because it's like priceless albums that they have so that's why i like you know the old artists okay okay all right so he's mentioned his favorite songs um his time is almost up we are wrapping